Yo, what is going on everybody? So hey, Tree Gamer, hope you're fantastic day. Welcome back to another Mad video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the best coin making methods to do with the Team Diamond Series 2 release. And I also might add a couple bonus methods at the end if this video isn't super long. But there's a lot of different ways you guys can make coins with this promo. In this video, I'm going to show you guys all the different ways. So if you guys do enjoy this video, if this video does help you out, please do like and comment. So this time we get discovered more on YouTube. And as always, if you have any questions, be sure to comment them down in the comment section below. And if you guys are new, please do subscribe and press the bell. So that way you guys get notified when I upload and it would also help out the channel a lot. So as you guys know, Series 15 Diamonds came out today, or for you guys, it's going to be yesterday, but I'm currently recording this on Friday, and I will be uploading this on Saturday. So for you guys, this came out yesterday for me, it came out today. So they have 32 of these players, one for each team, and if you guys get a player from that team, you guys will get plus three chemistry to that team. So like if you get, if you get this Bills player right here, Daryl Tally, or I think is how you say his name, then you guys will get plus three to your Bills chemistry, making theme teams a lot easier. So if you guys are building up any theme teams, these players are must-haves depending on which team you guys got so there's a lot of great players in this and this has caused the market to go up a lot in price because to complete these sets you need 10 85 to 89 overall players 6 90 to 94 overall players of that specific team and then you need the like a special player so like for some of the teams for some of the sets it's team the year players for other sets it's team the week and legend player so it's just a random you know high overall player from that team that you guys need alongside the elite players to complete the set so i know the browns not all of these sets are great so not all of the 85 to 89 overall players have gone up in price but i know the browns this set this is a set that a lot of people want to complete so a lot of the 85 to 89 overall in 1994 for all browns went up in price lawrence o'neill is another one that a lot, a lot of people want to complete so the 85 to 89 overall chargers players have gone up in price so if you have any like high overall chargers players or high overall browns players not even high overall if you have any any like 85 overall chargers players or any 85 overall cowboys player i know a lot of people want to complete this des bryant set so 85 overall D cowboys players have gone up in price too all of these cards have gone up in price just some cards have gone up more than the others so there's a lot of good cards here and especially this Dree Archer, a lot of people want this card right here. So if you have any 85 overall Steelers players or any 89 overall Steelers player, this is definitely a great time to sell. The market's gone up a lot, so a great time to sell. Now I'm going to show you guys all the different ways you guys can take advantage of this. So the first way is by opening up these getter player packs. This is a great method, especially now since the market's gone up in price. This is mostly just to hope that you guys pull elite players because like I said, every single elite player has gone up in price. So. This is a great time to open up these get a player packs because if you pull any, even if it's just an 80 overall elite player, you're going to be making about three to 4,000 coin profit and you're going to be pulling elite players probably around every 10 to 20 packs, roughly estimated. So, and then you guys can also pull some other good power ups. And then when you guys pull a 70 overall gold, you just want to put them into the next exchange set. Same thing if you pull a silver, if you pull a silver, you just want to put them into the next exchange set. And the reason why you guys want to do these exchange sets is because you have a chance to pull a power up from these packs. And as you can see, we pull a power up right there. 79 overall Antonio Gates. So that's probably going for hopefully a couple thousand coins. He's probably not going for that much, but we get a daily objective pack, 6,000 coins. That's about what I get every single time. I don't think I've ever gotten, I don't think I've gotten over like 50,000 coins this whole year on the daily objective pack. So. I haven't been lucky with the daily objectives pack, but yeah, you just want to open these get a player packs. Here we pull another power up. We pull a semi overall robber. With any power up you pull, it's easy profit. Any power up you pull is at least like a 500 coin profit. So that's that's why these packs are so great because it's so easy to make profit. These packs only cost 500 coins. So all you need to do is make, you know, 600 coins back and you're making easy profit. And if you guys do lose profit, you're only losing like 100 coins per. So you're risking like 100 coins to potentially make 10,000 coins. So definitely worth it for the risk. So yeah, opening up these get a player packs, definitely helpful because you have a pretty decent chance to pull an elite. And then you know, what you guys can do with the, those elites is you guys can do two things. You guys can just immediately sell them. So like I said, not, not just the 85 overalls went up in price, but all of the elite cards have gone up in price. So if we do 80 to 81 overall, and then we go by core elite, then you guys can see that the cheapest 80 overall core elite is going for about 4,200 coins. Obviously, we could probably filter down and find cheaper cards, but if we don't filter down, they're going for about 4,000 coins. So if you guys get a card from a get a player pack, even if it's just an 80 overall and sell it for 4,000 coins minus tax, that's about 3,600 coins. And as you guys see, these cards are selling for about 4,000 coins. And like I said, I am recording this on Friday and I will be uploading this on Saturday. So market might change a little bit by the time you guys see this video. But if you pull any elite player, even if it's just an 80 overall, you're gonna be making about a 3,000 coin profit pretty simple all you have to do is pull an elite player 3,000 coin profit if you pull a power up you're gonna make at least like a 500 coin profit
profit so an elite or power up will guarantee you profit silver and gold will probably only lose you like 50 coins like i said if you pull a silver player you just want to put them into the next exchange set so that's what i recommend you do just rip these get up player packs hope that you guys can pull some elite players and just see what you guys can get it will pull a core rookie 71 overall kevin duvernay so once again we just put them into the next exchange set and that's one of the things you guys can do if you pull an elite player you guys can just immediately sell them or you guys can use those elite players to try to complete this 86 overall team builder fantasy pack set right here so to complete the set you need four 80 to 82 overall players and an 83 to 84 overall player and then you guys can choose an 86 overall team builder player of your choice between 32 different players and they are auctionable so what you guys could do is you guys could pick an 86 overall from a team i'm pretty sure every team got an 86 overall team builder so you guys can choose an 86 overall from a team that's gone up in price so like the chargers the cowboys the eagles the Steelers, those sets have those sets have a lot of value in them because a lot of people want to complete those sets. So that's caused the 85 overall like Steelers, 85 overall Cowboys, 85 overall Browns players to go up in price more than the other teams. So you guys can complete the 86 overall team builder set and choose like an 86 overall Steelers team builder player and then sell them for around 25,000 coins. So they're literally selling for around 20 to 25,000 coins. So you guys can either use your elite players and just sell them right away or you guys can try to save up your elite players from the getter player packs and try to complete this set right here and then try to find the player that su that is selling for about 20 to 25,000 coins because there's a lot of players that are selling for that much because of the new team diamond set so that's one way you guys can take advantage of it from the getter player packs hopefully you guys can pull some elites hopefully you guys can pull some good power-ups you guys can use the elites to either use them into the 86 overall team builder set to put them into a good uh, you know team and then choose an 86 overall team builder player from like the Browns the Cowboys or the Eagles and then sell them for an easy 20 to 25 thousand coin profit or you guys can just immediately sell your elite player obviously if you pull an 85 overall like Browns or an 85 overall Chargers make sure you guys sell them right away this is a great time to sell those kind of players unless you guys are looking to complete those sets so the other way you guys can make coins is through the challenges so if you guys go into Team Affinity and then go to Team Diamonds Series 5, then you guys can complete these challenges to get packs which are auctionable. So I only completed three and I already got a pack. So I'm not sure if you guys get a pack like every three challenges or every four challenges. I'm not sure, but I got a pack by only completing three challenges. And inside of that pack, you guys can choose a specific team and then they will give you five gold or better players of that team. So like I could choose like the Browns and they would give me five, you know, gold or better Brown players. So that's another way you guys can make coins by doing these challenges and then by choosing a team that's you know going for a lot of coins like the chargers the browns the steelers any of those teams those teams are going for a lot of coins so just complete some of these challenges get those packs and then choose one of those teams and then hopefully pull yourself an 85 plus overall player from that team and like i said they are auctionable so if you guys do pull it like an 85 plus overall eagles cowboys steelers player then you guys can easily sell them for around 20 to 25,000 coins and make an easy profit by simply doing the challenges from team builder. So that's another way you guys can make coins by doing the team diamonds challenges. Another way you guys can make coins is by by opening up these 85 plus overall campus hero player packs. So each one of these packs costs 2,500 training points and I'm pretty sure you guys can either pull an 85, a 92, or a 95 overall player from this pack so the best thing about it right now is that even if you pull an 85 overall you have a chance to make profit it's all about the team that you guys pull so if you pull an 85 overall cowboys you know campus hero you're going to be able to make some easy profit if you pull an 85 overall campus hero browns an 85 overall campus hero chargers i'm not sure if all the teams have a campus hero but i know a lot of the teams do so you guys can definitely make some easy profit from this pack right here especially if you guys can get some really cheap training i'm going to show you guys how to get really cheap training real quick for about five to six coins per training so you want to try to snipe these 89 overalls so you guys can try to check in the free agency tab and see if you guys can find any 89 overalls. You guys want to find them for probably under like 20,000 coins, maybe under 21,000 coins if it gets hard finding them for under 20,000 coins. So here's one for 19,850 coins. So we'll just get this one real quick, but you guys can find them for, you know, under 19k. You guys probably find them for like around 17 to 18k. We'll just take that one because you know it's the video i don't want to take forever looking for these but yeah free agency is a great to is a great promo to look at these 89 overalls as you can see there's an 89 overall going for 19,000 coins right there you just want to make sure you guys get them for at least under 20k another promo you guys can check is under the legend tab and try to get these for under 20,000 coins as well so once you guys get your player obviously you guys want to quick sell them they sell for about 3,620 points so since we were able to get them for about 20,000 training points 
we got that player for around six coins per training. So six coins per training, a little bit less than six coins per training, but we'll just run it up to six coins per training. That means that each one of these packs costs 2,500 times six. So that means that each one of these packs costs about 15,000 coins. And like I said, some of the players are going for around 20 to 25,000 coins. If you pull a good 85 overall campus hero player that's going on a good team, then you guys can definitely make some profit. So let's see who we can pull from this. 85 overall plus we pulled an 85 Roar Williams. That's part of the Cowboys set. That is a Cowboys player. That is profit right there. So if you pull a Cowboys, a Browns, a Chargers, an Eagle, a Steeler, that's easy profit. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if all of those teams have a campus hero, but if you pull anybody from those teams, you're going to be able to make some easy profit. So we pull a Cowboys right there, so that should definitely be some good profit. Bills, I don't think that's a good pull at all. I don't think the Bills got a very good Team Diamond player. We'll just open up one more of these. I'm spending all my training on these, but whatever. We'll just open up one more of these, see who we can pull. And you also have a chance of pulling a 95 overall. So maybe you guys can get lucky and pull a 95 overall. Maybe we pull another Bengals player. All right, so let's see how many coins we made. I don't think we made many coins on the Bengals and Bills players. So that's about the floor. The floor is that you guys can make around like 11 to 12,000 coins. Still, if you're spending around like 13 to 14K, you're still only going to lose like two to three k profit so there we probably lost about three to four k profit so between those two we'll say we lost around eight thousand coins and then war williams is going for about twenty thousand coins so that one we made about six thousand coins so because of war williams we only lost about two thousand coins but you guys can try to ch take your chance on the campus zero packs because if you pull a good 85 overall player that's on a good team then you guys can make some easy profit plus you also have the upside of potentially pulling a 92 or a 95 overall campus hero player from that pack so you guys could pull a 95 overall or you guys could pull an 85 overall but the best thing is that those packs are really good right now because even if you pull an 85 overall you still have a chance to make profit also if you guys have any extra 83 to 84 overall players that's just sitting in your item binder i recommend you put them into this set and hope that you guys can pull an 85 overall from a team that's going for a lot of coins so hopefully you guys can make some profit off of it like so right now is a great time to get rid of your item binder and to try to make some profit off of it because the whole market has gone up in price 80 any elite players have gone up in price so if you have any elite players in your item binder you guys can try to take your chance at it and the exchange set hope hopefully you guys pull something you know from the cowboys from the browns or from the steelers from the eagles you know one of those teams or you guys can just simply sell your any elite players that you guys might have or you guys can put your nat players if you have any like low elite nat players you guys want to put them into the exchange set right now is a great time to sell them and make some easy profit so those are kind of all the ways you guys can make coins there are probably more ways but i just wanted to try to make this video quick and i wanted to get this video out quick obviously i could probably do some more studying let me know the other ways you guys can make coins because the all there's a lot of different sets out there so you guys can probably make coins through these team of the week sets so like these team of the week sets you can like let's say week seven you guys can try to take your chance at this one you need 878 to 82 overall players and then you guys get a random 80 to 88 overall team of the week seven player hopefully you guys can maybe pull like an 85 overall team of the week player that you know is on a good team but those are pretty much all the best ways you guys can make coins like so there's a lot of different other sets you guys can do but those are kind of just like the basics i just wanted to give you guys a few ways you guys can make coins get a player is a great way campus opening up those campus hero packs is another great way to make coins and then doing the team affinity team diamonds challenges is another great way to make coins and then obviously if you have any trash in your item binder now it's a great time to get rid of them by either putting them into the exchange set or by selling it obviously if it's a nat player and you can't sell it then you just want to put them into the exchange set but those are pretty much all all the ways you guys make coins with the team diamond sets let me know if there's any other ways like i said i'll probably do some studying and then i'll let you know if there's any more ways in my next video but those are just a few ways you guys make coins with the team diamond sets but now i'll give you guys some extra bonus methods you guys can do so bonus method number one is trying to snipe these players so some people don't know how much these cards are selling for so as you guys see these 85 overall like cowboys players are selling for around like 20,000 coins some some of the players put them up for like 13,000 coins some 14,000 coins so here's one for 13,000 coins so we can easily snipe this one and then put them back up for around 19,000 coins make some easy profit so the cowboys is a team you guys want to look at and then the chargers is another good team because a lot of people are trying to complete the lorenzo neal set so you guys can easily try to snipe these cards too. So 15,000 coins. Looks like these cards have gone down to about 15,000 coins. Still, if you guys can find any 85 overall Chargers players for around like 9, 10,000 coins, you guys can put them back up for 15,000 coins and make some easy profit. So you guys can try the Chargers there. What are some other good ones? You guys can try the Browns. 
try to snipe some of the bronze players. So as you can see, the bronze, the cheapest 85 overall bronze player is going for about 30,000 coins. So I don't know why everybody wants to complete the bronze set so much, but apparently the bronze uh, Braylon Edwards is a great card to have because a lot of people are trying to complete them. So the cheapest 85 overall bronze player there is, is 30,000 coins. So if you guys can snipe an 85 overall bronze player for like 30,000 coins or for like 20,000 coins, or not not for 30,000 coins. If you guys can snipe an 85 overall bronze player for like 20,000 coins or even 15,000 coins, you guys can try to sell them for around 25k and make some easy profit. So, like I said, Marco will probably change a little bit by the time you guys watch this video. So the Browns, the another good team to look at if you guys want to try to snipe players. Let's see, I think the Raiders are a good team too. Let me look at the Raiders. So the cheapest 85 overall the Raiders have is let's see yeah the cheapest yeah the 85 overall raiders players are also going for around 20,000 coins so you guys can once again try to snipe these 85 overall raiders players for around like 15,000 coins but sniping is a great way to make coins and then another team you guys can try to look at is the Steelers because of Dre Archer so the cheapest 85 of all Steeler is going for about 30,000 coins. So look to see if you guys can get any Steelers or Browns player for like 20 to 25,000 coins. And then look to see if you guys can get any like Cowboys or Eagles or Raiders player for around like 15,000 coins. And then see if you guys can make profit. Obviously the market's going to vary a lot. So you guys are going to have to look at these prices yourself. So the, by the time you guys watch this video tomorrow, these cards might be going down to 25k or they might go up to 40k. So the market's going to vary a lot. Make sure you guys look at how much these cards are actually selling for so that way you guys know how much to snipe them for in order to make profit. Make sure you always make sure to um, add in tax. So like he's going for 32,000 coins but because of the 10% tax, if you sell him for 32k, he's really only going to sell for 29k. So you probably want to find these for around 25k so that way you guys can sell them for 32k minus the tax that's about a four thousand coin easy profit so you guys can you know look at the steelers look at the browns look at the eagles a lot of different teams you guys can look at but sniping is a great way to make coins that's what i recommend you do because not everybody knows that the 85 overall cards have gone up in price so some people might just get an 85 overall card and put them up for like ten thousand coins and be like all right next. you know 85 overalls usually go for ten thousand coins but some people might not know that they jumped up in price so that's what you guys want to try to take advantage of when it comes to sniping so we're gonna put this guy up for we'll put him up for 20,000 coins and hopefully he should sell and that should be some easy profit right there so that's pretty much how you guys are gonna want to do it now the other way you guys can make coins I'm gonna show you guys in this video is through the Mutt Master here if we go down to Mutt Master series 5 yeah series 5 objective list so to complete these objectives, you need 50 team force fumbles, 20 interceptions, Samuels. These are really easy, and if you guys focus on them, you guys can finish them within an hour. And if you guys do finish them, you guys will get around 150,000 coins. If you guys do them before Series 5 ends, but if you guys do this after Series 5 ends, you guys will only get 35,000 coins. So that's a 115k difference, so you guys definitely want to make sure you guys do these ASAP before Series 5 ends. We don't know when Series series 5 is going to end but it's always best to do these kind of challenges as soon as possible so the 50 team force fumbles and the 20 interception samuels like i said are pretty easy you guys can finish them probably within an hour so i'm going to show you guys how to complete the interception with sam mills first because while you guys are doing the interception with sam mills you guys can get a few fumbles in and then after you guys get your interception with sam mills then you guys can just focus on the force fumbles so when it comes to interception with sam mills you guys want to do the super bowl past and then go to Super Bowl, pat, blah, 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 Super Bowl Pass again. Then you guys want to do the, not the Colts versus Cowboys, you guys want to do the Steelers versus Cowboys. Do it out on one star. Shout out to Swift for this method. All right, so once you guys load into the game, you guys want to make sure Sam Mills is your middle linebacker number one. So and then you guys want to go to special teams low block, right? Because the interception has to be with Sam Mills. You guys have to intercept the ball with Sam Mills. It can't be anybody else. Now when they come out into the play, if they have three receivers on either side, that means that or on one if you if they have three receivers on one side, then that means you guys can get an interception. But if they come out into a formation where they have two receivers on either side, then you guys can't intercept the ball and you guys will have to just settle for a fumble. But since as you guys see they have three receivers on one side, you guys can easily get a interception right there. So that's, you guys always want to look at the formation, how they line up in before you guys can, you know, assess whether you guys can either get an interception or fumble. All right, so let me show you guys that again. Once again, you guys want to go to formation, 
special teams, low block right. Make sure Samuels is your number one middle linebacker because he should be lined up here. Look at the formation. All right, so once again, there's three receivers on this side. So what I do is I just line myself eight yards uh, in front of the tight end and then he should throw the ball. Easy interception every single time. And then you guys just want to do that 20 times until you guys get your 20 interceptions done. Very easy challenge to do this with. All right, so one more time. Formation, special teams, low block right. Look at the formation three receivers on one side so we're just gonna line up like eight yards above the tight end wait for them to hike the ball go backwards and there he overthrew the ball that's gonna happen on occasion so if he throws it on point you guys should get an easy interception all right so you guys can see on this play here there's two receivers on either side this is impossible to get an interception so if they throw it accurately and the player catches the ball you guys just want to simply back up and then hit stick them and then he should fumble and that's much what you guys want to do because you know two receivers line up on either side it's going to be impossible to get an interception so you just want to back up and try to hit stick them for a fumble and they should fumble if the quarterback throws it accurately and if, if you hit stick them then he should fumble every single time so if two receivers line up on either side back up try to hit stick them and if three receivers line up on one side line up eight yards over the tight end and then wait for them to throw the ball and try to intercept it so that's how you guys get, can get your interceptions done and maybe a few fumbles done and then once you guys get your interceptions done, then you guys can just focus on forced fumbles. So the best way to focus on forced fumbles is in Rivals. Recruit your team captain, try SDT Lower Glover. There's a lot of different challenges, but I just like to do this one because it's, you know, you guys just want to do this on one star. And then once you guys load into the game, you guys want to go to formation and then you guys want to choose pump block. And you guys can also use this method to get sacks or fumbles anytime whatsoever. So we're going to reset the game because I accidentally press X, but we're going to go to formation, pump block, 44 even, 8 up, safe man. And then we're going to go on this guy right here. It doesn't matter who makes the force fumble, as long as he fumbles, it doesn't even matter if you recover or not. So what you guys want to do is you guys want to go into pump block, you know, obviously. And then right when they hike the ball, you want to hold R2 and left stick down if you're on PlayStation. And then if you're on Xbox, you want to hold right trigger and left stick down. And then you guys should get right by, right by the left tackle there and then sack them for an easy force fumble so like this is a great way to get sacks and force fumbles so if you guys ever have an objective to get a sack or ever have an objective to get a force fumble this is the best way to do it so once again you want to go to eight up safe man wait for them to hike the ball right when they hike the ball if you're on playstation you want to hold the r2 and left stick down if you're on xbox you want to hold the right checker and left stick down sack the quarterback and get an easy fumble so bam sack them fumble and that's a force fumble right there just do that 50 times until you guys get all your force fumbles and that's how you guys easily get your sacks or that's how you guys easily get your interceptions and your force fumbles done to get your 150,000 coins definitely worth it to do should only take you guys maybe even less than an hour if you guys just focus on it and do it quickly then you guys can literally finish it maybe under under an hour but that's the best way to do that kind of stuff. If you guys did enjoy this video, if this video did help you out, please do like and comment because this time we can discover more on YouTube. And if you guys are new, please do subscribe and press the bell. So that way you guys are get notified when I upload and it will help out the channel a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you have any questions, be sure to comment them down in the comment section below. God bless. Wash hands. Stay safe. Peace.